Hi, hi everyone. In this video, we are going to understand what is VLOOKUP and how to do VLOOKUP in Google Sheets. What is VLOOKUP? Let's say you have a lot of data in some sheet out there. There is a lot of data, but now at this moment, you need only one piece of data from that sheet and that data be fetched from that sheet. Right? VLOOKUP is used to search that data for you and then get that data and paste it in the new sheet that you are into. That's in the simplest sense how VLOOKUP work, what VLOOKUP is. Right? Now we will go through how to do VLOOKUP. In this video, as you can see, there will be three chapters. First chapter, we will understood what is VLOOKUP. Next chapter, we will see why you VLOOKUP will not work for you. And third chapter, extra tips. Right? Let's start the first chapter on how to do it. Right. Here I have with me a sheet which has a certain example data in it. Let's say there is an employee ID details the names of employees and there is a score of there in certain behavioral assessment and their feedback for that assessment. Right Now to get analytical insights in this data you would be asked that put department, position and gender details into this data but they don't exist here. Right? However, they must be existing in a core master data file of your employees somewhere in the organization, right? Here is an example of a master data file. This is how it exists in master data file, right? So what we will do is we'll do a VLOOKUP to get these details of department, position and gender into our sheet, right? So I go to our sheet, do it uh, here, click the button, cell, insert VLOOKUP. When you insert VLOOKUP, it asks for four values, which is search key, range, index, and is sorted. Right? We will understand what they are. Right? Search key for us will be the searching of employee ID in the master sheet. Right? So let's say we put it here. Search key for us is the employee ID. Right? Range for us is in the master data. Right? So we'll put this range in master data. And index, index is the column number from which the data has to be taken. Right? So let's say this is our index number one. This is two and so on, right? We will see it there. Let's go to that sheet and we'll see, right? Uh, by putting the data one by one. Let's say put search key first, right? Search key, then we'll select the range. For selecting the range, you have to select on your keyboard, control, shift and right to select every header out there, right? And control, shift, bottom to select the data till end. This is how we select the data. Now about the column index, right? So see, uh, here we want departmental details. Department details, as you can see, if we put numbers to each column, this is first column, this is second, this is third, and department becomes fourth column, right? So we'll put the data of fourth column. Here four, and then we'll put at end is sorted. The data is sorted means that whether it is alphabetically sorted, no. Our data is not alphabetic sorted. Most of the case it is not. So we put it as false and then we close the bracket and then we click enter. So as you can see, Harish Chandra Prasad, it shows he's in product development department. And we can see here the data shows that he's in product development department. Right? Here the formula ends for one VLOOKUP, but say you want to VLOOKUP, uh, stretch it to the end, right? Then if you do like this, double dot here and stretch it, straight in length then it will have some issues and what issue the issue it is suggesting here see do you want to add this dollar signs in your range data what does this dollar signs means the dollar signs means that the data position remains fixed right if we don't enter those dollar signs with every new row the data positioning will change by one row let's see is an example right i'll cancel the suggestion and i'll zoom in it here right See, for first data, it's A1 to G32. For next row, it will be GA2 to G33. For third, A3. So it will see the data in the blank rows at the bottom of data, which we don't want. Right? So how to enter those dollar signs? You go to the range and you press F4 on your keyboard. Right? If F4 doesn't work, as in my case, F4 is not working, dollar signs are not coming. What I will put is function F4. Then it comes. And then you press enter and now we will drag the data no matter how much we drag that data will not change its range source see everywhere we can see here it is a1 g32 a1 g32 right so that's how we do the vlookup now a question may come to many people that my vlookup is not working right so we'll see that in the next chapter right
Chapter 2 why we look up will not work for you right there are three main reasons why we look up will not work for you right number one reason see as here search value is not in first column right we look up only and only works if the search key that you are putting is in the first column what i mean is here our search key is employee id right and here when we are selecting data we should always select the first column where the employee id is placed right if there was a let's say a column before it let's say insert column 1 and here we had serial number 1 2 3 and we start selecting from here then our we look up will not work right for we look up the search key should be in first column and first column should be the column where the search key is there that's one reason why your we look up will not work another reason why we look up will not work is false is not added in the end you see in the end when we are putting data we are saying is it sorted false right if we don't put it and we leave it blank or we do not put a comma before it here then the it will give you an error right and last thing is range is not fixed right so as we so if we don't put the dollar signs the range will go downwards and it will give you a incomplete answers for many of the we look up values so these are the three reasons why we look up will not work now the last chapter will go to extra tips extra tips right so in we look up it may happen that a lot of time we might have to use we look up and when we use lot of time what happens is that we have to every time go and select this data range right what if we can name that data range and always select that name instead of selecting the range yes that is possible that's the extra tip right i'll add this entire thing into my selection and then i'll go to this column where normally if no name is placed then it will show it as a details of a1 to g32 right but if name is there then we can put name like let's say like see it will show a1 to b5 like this right now we'll put a name to it right let's say employee de details right and i press enter now when you put go here and you search anything let's say which say search the gender like so we look up search key is employee id and range no need to go there just put employee details the index value let's say seventh is the number of the row a uh, column right and it is sorted false and we press enter and this is how it works right this was the extra tip thanks thanks for watching this video have a great day bye bye